I think to talk about my history with the JCC, you really have to talk about my company's history with the JC. And, and I have the pleasure of uh, working with the York Water Company. It's a history of community. Uh, and that's really where uh, my foundation in York came from. And I know that's where the JCC has been since it was formed here in York, Pennsylvania. It's a sense of community that brought me to the York Water Company. It's a sense of community that brings me to the JCC, a place that I can call home, uh, a place where I feel um, respected and valued, taken care of, um, and, and part of something that's bigger than myself. So I wasn't a member of the JCC for a long time. I was not a member. I was associated with the JCC, but I never joined the JCC. And part of it is an excuse, and my, my own excuse. I was too busy, too busy, too many other competing demands. I didn't have the time to become a member. And then I realized a little bit over a year ago, I needed to find time, to find time for me to be able to go someplace where I could reach my full potential. And for me, reaching my full potential means being physically, morally, spiritually fit. And I found in the JCC an opportunity to take care of two of those, to take care of my physical well-being and to kind of take care of my moral well-being. And that moral well-being meaning that sense of community that I talked to. Uh, community as being a really important part of morality and understanding that you have shared common values with the people that you affiliate with. And I have had the privilege of being a part of this community for for about 15 years now since I joined the York community upon my retirement from the military. York is a very, very special place. And for those of us who are not native Yorkers, we come to York and we see what is special about this community. JCC is part of that specialness. It's part about having an organization that truly has an ethos of service and that appreciates its place, not only historic place, but also kind of a vision for looking forward. I don't think there's any other organization more important to this community right now than the JCC. And that's why I appreciated being part of it. I'm kind of a historian. And so I was looking through the York Water Company's annual reports, 1980. is the 1980 annual report for the York Water Company. And right here pictured is the JCC. You know, so I look at the swimming pool for the JCC over on East Market Street from 43 years ago, for 43 years, this relationship between York Water and the JCC, the sense of community, shared responsibilities for community. You know, how can this community not be successful, not thrive when we have organizations like the JCC? You know, what pulled me into the JCC is the opportunity to, to jump in the pool. You know, I'm a water guy. I'm a water guy, so I've got an affinity for water anyway. But, uh, you know, in, in the last 12 months, I've put 22,000 laps in that pool. 22,000 laps in that pool. So what pulls me in is this idea that I can be someplace, I can focus on myself for a short period of time every day or maybe three times a week. And, and that gives me an opportunity to kind of invest in myself while I'm also taking care of the community. That's what brings me back. The team here, the staff, is just unbelievably welcoming. You know, they, they greet me every day when I come in at night, never in a shirt and tie, and they know who I am by name, not by title, not by what I do elsewhere in the community, but they greet me as JT. And, um, and that makes me feel good, makes me feel welcome, and uh, there's comfort in that.